Hello everyone, Silent K here, and this is Weird, a Serial Experiments Lane art exhibition brought to you by Antique Museum. This is available in VR chat for the next like two months or so. I'll have information in the description. So check that for links and information on how to join and whatnot. So yeah. This was just announced like yesterday I found out about it. So this actually was available before. I don't know if it was available in VR before, but it was available before and then they shut it down and then they reopened it. So this is the second time it's available. But I never even heard about the first time, so this is good. So here we have key art made by the series creator just for this event. Brand new art. Lane with a little VR headset. There's actually an extended version. Oh, it's down there. So yeah, we're gonna check everything out. So section one, I guess. Maybe we can check up here first. I know it has uh, like 3D environments from the show. I don't think it has any interactivity. It is an art exhibition after all, not like a game or anything. So I'm not expecting any interactivity. I don't know what this big screen is about. Maybe a default asset, because this place does look kind of generic asset-y. On to the actual exhibits. Serial Experiments Lane, one of my favorite shows. I've watched the whole series a few times, and I actually have it on my rewatch list, so I should be rewatching it again soon. So yeah, here we have the full key art, I guess. Nice, nice. I actually have a funny story or two about Serial Experiments Lane. Oh good, we got some music. That's good. We're gonna check things out a little bit first though. Get into the mood. Oh, we got language options. Nice. Situation, Network Society, a slightly futuristic Tokyo. I'm pretty sure you guys know the setting of Serial Experiments Lane. So I'm not going to sit here and read a wall of text. Chaos embodied in endless swirls represents a reality beyond comprehension. Or, or doodle. Let's not get into the spirals though. I've had enough spirals for one anime season. The house. Supposed sanctuaries transform into unfamiliar prisons where the presence of family becomes as ghostly as their absence. Yeah, if you guys want to join and read all the captions in completion, that's on you. I'm not going to slow things down by reading every single little thing. I'll probably go back through this on my own time to do it more leisurely. Question mark indeed. What does it do? Hmm? Hmm? Oh, it's changing through the, the video cycles. Oh, it's turning them off completely. Okay. I don't know why that's at the end of the hallway instead of the beginning of the hallway, but there you go. CRTs. How quaint. There's like 10 billion pounds of monitors right here. Display Tower of Lane. Let's all love Lane. This display tower gathers all the scenes featuring Lane, creating a tribute to her journey. Here, every moment Lane graced the screen is compiled, offering viewers a comprehensive look into her world. From her moments of introspection to her interactions with the Wired, this tower invites you to immerse yourself in the complexity and depth of Lane's existence. Yeah, it's going to take a lot more than this to uh, experience the depth of Lane's existence, if you're familiar with the series. <laughs> but do they actually have, like, the entire series of Lane's appearances here? I 
I would be impressed if they did, but I'm not going to sit here and check. <laughs> Oh, the street, as seen in the series Lane. Oh, it's even got the power lines home. You gotta have the power lines home. Oh, we missed an infographic. The road to school. This scene, recurring throughout the anime, unfolds on the road in front of Iwakura's house. Though it should feel like a familiar place, it inevitably emanates a sense of uncertainty. Yes, very good uh, visual representation throughout the series. Power lines representing the wired, of course. Ooh, a package. Ding dong! Gotcha. Yep. I absorbed it. Root. Find me. Okay, we got a ghost girl to find. And some various other things. I got the package. I saw the slippers. I didn't do anything about it. Okay, so there's a tiny bit of interactivity. Gotcha. Get. I absorbed the ghost. What's this tiny thing? Oh, that's your collection. I got three out of five. There was a tiny bug looking thing. And some big abstract thing that I'm not sure what it's supposed to be. Oh, can't even go down there. Device of some sort? I don't recognize it. Are they up here? I mean, it's not like the other objects were hidden extremely well. I assume they would have to be here. No point in, like, wandering too far. Three of them were like right in the immediate area, so it would be weird to spread out the last two. One's probably on the back of a telephone pole. We'll obviously cut this down a bit. Oh, little tiny guy here. Gotcha. Alright, one left. Oh, it's also a picture of where they are, so it's like a gray line meeting a black line. Like a step with black. A gray line with a black stripe. On black. I don't see any black like that though. Where could it possibly be? Oh. Oh, is that it? That's it! How do I get it? I mean, I do have a flying avatar. Would they expect you to use a flying avatar? Whoa! Oh, climb. I don't remember what this is. Can we just wander the wires? Sure. Look, I'm on the wired! I'm doing the technologies. Wee. Oh! Hi, Lane. <laughs> Ding dong! I had an interaction thing. What was it? What is that? Oh, 
I got it. I don't know what I got, but I don't know what I was pointing at, but I got it. Slane's Navi. Is this our bed? Oh, this is our bedroom. This must be like way late in the series. I don't remember it looking like this. <laughs> but this is where I wanted to be to tell you my stories about serial experiments lane. So back in the day, I used to do vector artwork. I did a lot of vector traces of anime stuff. And one of my biggest projects and my most ambitious projects was a vector trace of a screen cap from the series with Lane sitting at her navi. It was in an advanced state, but not quite this advanced. And she was looking back at the door to her room where her father was. And I wanted to do a vector trace of that, but without her father there, so it was like she was looking at the camera. And this was way back in the day where, uh, you know, the screen was 4.3, very low resolution. So I obviously had to remove her father and extend the wallpaper to a modern format, 16 by 9. So it wasn't just a simple straightforward trace. I had to like take the main screen cap I wanted and then do more screen caps to fill in the stuff that her father was blocking and fill in the stuff to the left and to the right of the, the screen grab that I wanted to do. And then this is like old school, low res anime. So I needed more detail for her face. So I had like a screen cap for her eyes and another one for her hair, close ups that had more detail. It was like a huge composite took me a long time to do and it came out really good it's one of my best vectors I'll link it in the description and probably show it on the screen too but one day I was wandering around on eBay looking up anime stuff and whatnot and I saw my vector trace it was it was very uh, memorable because I put so much work into it and it was an extended 16 by 9 like I immediately recognized it even from the thumbnail so <laughs> I had to click on it it was some Chinese guy selling art prints of my vector trace. Never asked me. Ding dong. Obviously, I don't own the rights to Serial Experience Lane or anything, so I'm not going to like try to shut it down. I just had a big laugh over it. I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> there was another time way later in my like Beat Saber mapping days when I would search my username on YouTube to try to find people playing my maps if they gave me credit in the video description. And this channel came up that clearly wasn't about Beat Saber. It was just something completely random. So I had to click on it, go to the video description, see why my name was coming up in the search results. And it said their outro card was uh, credited to Silent K. So I had to go to their outro card and they were using my Serial Experiments Lane Vector as their outro card. That was pretty neat. So. Those are my funny stories. I know it's not like super funny to anyone not related to the scenario, but Echo the Dolphin. But funny to me. An accelerator is a unit that enhances the computer's processing speed when installed in the CPU. If a such acceleration is possible in a machine, how about a human being? Kids. Yes, we know the kids. The kids system. Collecting the psychic energy to merge the wired and the real. Load M. Oh, we got little modules. What is this like? Artwork? Layer 4. Religion. Layer 8. Rumors. Okay, that one doesn't work. Are these all just like chapter titles or something? Some of them don't seem to work. Really rough storyboard. <laughs> really rough. There's gotta be more to this. Oh, you can flip to the storyboards with these. Okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> I was like, the title isn't really doing much for me. Ah, storyboards. Cool. Getting 
giggling. <laughs> so yeah, Lane is a really weird show. And if you only watch the series once, you're probably going to be very confused. Because a lot of the stuff is explained out of order. Like, they'll show you some important scene, but give you no context for it. And then like five episodes later, they'll give you the context for it, but by then you've forgotten the original scene. So, pretty much everything in the show is explained, but you have to watch it multiple times to really get all of it. So... One of the fun parts of Serial Experiments Lane. If this is a code of some sort, I'm not gonna bother figuring it out. I don't got that kind of time. Ding dong! Can I grab these plushies? Nope. Plushies are off limits. What is this? Oh, that's the accelerator. Can I put it in my head? Nope. Hmm. Back to the reel. Okay, so I guess that's the end of section one. Go back to section two. Oh, this thing's not even open. That's it? I mean, from the preview pictures, I think that might be it, aside from the photo booth. I was saving the photo booth for last. They also got these physical tickets you can enter to win. It's kind of a lot of work. It's one of those things where you gotta like, post on Twitter and then join a group and then fill out a form and do all this stuff. So I'm not gonna bother. Cool concept though. Weird photo booth. Thank you for playing. Let's save a photo using the right photosphere. FDH, FHD, 4K. Oh, I had to restart it. So that's gonna be me in the scene or something? You can pick different scenes. Not very HD if this is what the output looks like. <laughs> but sure. What's this all about? All right. We'll do one of each, I guess. Oh, there's a scroll bar too. I'm not facing the right way. What? Where's my head? Is that my back? Why am I not facing forward? Am I supposed to be facing back? Did that get saved to my hard drive? Does uh, VR chat save things to hard drive? So many questions. Share your photos with Metapri. I don't know what that is. All right, this is a questionable application. Oh, it is facing away. I guess that's from a scene in the show that I don't remember. I don't remember someone facing backwards. I don't know why they don't have, they have fingers, but not arms. All right. At least this one you can see my face. Why even have the loading bar if it's gonna take it three quarters of the way through? All right, one more. Nice, Siberia. No, I blinked. <laughs> Classic. There we go. Beautiful. <laughs> All right, I have no clue if those things saved to my computer or what, but there we go. That was Weird, the Serial Experiments Lane art exhibition, available for the next two months or so. More information in the description. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Tune in again next time.
All right, back once again because I checked the website and I definitely missed some stuff. <laughs> テディベア、テディベア。急いで2階に隠れんぼ。テディベア、テディベア。祈りの言葉を唱えるの。テディベア、テディベア。We Humpty Dumpty, Mother Goose, Teddy Bear. Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear. Oh, not Mother the English dub. <laughs> teddy Bear, Teddy Bear. Touch the ground. Te itoshi, Itoshi, Teddy Bear. Jene ni tachi. Teddy Bear. I guess we have nursery rhymes by Lane. Ushiro onuite. Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear. Word cloud. To visualize everyone's love for Lane, we created a word cloud from content shared during October 2023. Lovely. Wired. No. Might. Real. Human. Important. Oh, and a Japanese word cloud? AI lane. What is AI lane? Spoilers. We're not going to go into that here. Reports on AI lane. Lane pass. Little Dallas Motipass. Six month passes, three months pass, one month pass. So the sponsor passes and holders receive services such as unlimited conversations with AI Lane. Oh, they're talking about an AI Humpty Lane. Dumpty sat on a wall. Oh God. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Is that who's doing these nursery rhymes? Is that all AI the Lane? Kings <laughs> and all the king's men oh Lord. Couldn't put Humpty together again. I thought it was talking about Lane of the Wired when it said AI Lane. <laughs> I didn't know there was an actual AI Lane thing. Twinkle, twinkle, oh, this is the same Wired as before. Up above the world so high Like a diamond in the sky When the blazing Back to the artwork. sun is gone Serial Experiments Lane, Wired Exhibition, Key Visual. Then you show your little light. Twinkle, Some classic artworks. If you're a fan of Lane, you've seen these a bazillion times. There's not enough Lane art. Deep Dig. Deep Dig. Game Source Sounds and OST Pack from Basement Tracks. T-shirt. Are they actually selling this? I thought they were only selling digital merchandise. Cool. Register. Is that like 450 bucks nowadays? A bit much for a poster. <laughs> Even if it does come in a frame. One box of seven pieces of all seven. One box of all seven costs about 50 bucks. Why can't I pick them up? I can only slide them around. Oh, oh there they are. Wait, it's just acrylic. Acrylic discs. Cool. There was one other thing. It was Lane's regular bedroom, like early in the series before it got all teched out. I forgot to try the doorknob for the house, so that's probably where it is. Oh, 
It's the same bedroom I was in earlier. Oh, was I clicking on a... Was I clicking on the doorknob from across the scene? That's why I was having such a hard time finding it. Okay. Okay, we're back in the wired because I was editing and I realized what this was. <laughs> I said I didn't have time for it, but it's pretty simple. These are the storyboards. So it says B1, D2, E3. Four is missing, five, six. No fours are here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. So there's four that are unknown. But it's an order. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do we just have to load them and that's it? One. Do they always turn staticky? They don't always turn staticky. They only turn staticky if you do them in order. One. Two, three, four is J, five is C, six is G, seven is the first unknown. So it can't be A, that's too close. It's gotta be K or M. Let's try M first. Nope, not M. Okay, this might take a few tries. B2, D2, I mean B1, E3, J4, C5, G6, F7, M8, I9, and then we have 10, A10, A10, K11, H12, and there it is, L13. Hi, Lane. Lane, come back. Close this world, open the next, do it. Yes, this is Lane's original bedroom. That's what I was saw on the website. And I thought they might not have had it. Nice, nice, nice. This is awesome. <laughs> well, it's VR chat. Gotta have a mirror in VR chat. Shiny photos. Oh, this is the, the the corporation from the show. Can't remember the name of it. Ooh. Character sheets. Need some better lighting in here, though. Lane character sheet. Lane bear suit character sheet. Lane faces. Pick, pick, pick it up. Oh, oh, they go back after a while. Nice, nice, nice. Lane casual wear. The many faces of Lane. Do you have anything in the closet? Something over there. Tell me there's not nothing over there. 
There's green stuff over there. Yes, I want to use the chat, but I don't know if that's gonna, like, expel me from here. Hmm. Oh, just teleport me to the AI room. No! I chose poorly. <laughs> Alright, let's get back there. Alright, this time, let's try door number one. No, oh, this just leaves two! Oh, we go back into old Layton's room though. That's cool. There's gotta be a way in this hallway. I have a big play space, but VR chat doesn't actually... Like, follow the camera, it follows your body, which doesn't go through objects. So yeah. I can, whoops, I can go through there pretty easily, but my avatar gets stuck back there. Nope, don't, don't use the chat. Oh, wait, I can go back to the house. Does this do anything? School route. The five lost items are along the school route. Oh. What's this? Do not press. God, there's so much I miss. After all reset. Do all of these turn into something? After all reset. Weird corridor. Press the button. It just keeps getting deeper. Oh God. Okay. I wonder what happens if you press the button before the all reset. Did it add anything here? Following the traces of lane wired. Yeah, I'd already did the traces of lane. That's the the picture thing. So that's what this button was. It wasn't turning off the monitors. It was telling you the the little quests you had to do. Okay, I thought this was pretty cool the first time, but it's even cooler than I gave it credit for. Oh, this is an old lane room. Hmm. Alright. So. There's only two things you can interact with. And that's the door to go back to the, the road to school. And this takes you to the AI room. I don't know if it makes a difference which direction you go in. But there's got to be something down this hallway. Pictures, I don't think they do anything. We'll just try exiting this way. Maybe, oh, this thing reset. Oh, it didn't reset. It's different. Whoops. Microchip. Ghost girl. Portable Navi. Helmet. Oh my god, the layers. Am I gonna have tea with God Lane? Madeleines with God Lane? They look more like biscuits. Hmm. 
Was that it? Oh. I still have my tea. Dad? <laughs> um, I'm a little bit confused. Okay. Tea, round two. Oh, I have to keep my cup. I didn't realize it was still gone. Okay, so I yeah, have one of these. I'll recherche du temps perdu. Ding dong! Do not speak French. Am I in the wrong chair? There's gotta be something else. There's gotta be another layer. I think that's everything. Unless there's like some sort of code here. Execute protocol TG3 the mole. Listen to the VO. Lose of the stars. Listen to the VO. Blue of the stars current. Wakes up and or needle spins in his direction. Execute the prophecy. I'm not sure if that means anything. Alright, well I have scoured this place and I can't find anything else to do. So we're going to leave the video there. If you try this out and you get further along in the puzzle than I did, leave a comment either on this video or on the VR events subreddit. That would be very helpful. And then I'll come back in and check it out because this is pretty awesome. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Please tune in again next time.